you have Mark Humayan, who immigrated to the United States with his family when he was nine years old. When his diabetic grandmother lost her vision, he began studying to become an ophthalmologist, hoping he could save the sight of others. Mark helped create the Argus II, a bionic eye that has restored vision to patients who've been blind for up to 50 years. He says the moment when he witnessed someone seeing light and shapes, someone experiencing the miracle of sight for the first time in decades, uh, those moments have been some of the happiest and most rewarding of his professional career. In his words, and I think no pun is intended, there wasn't a dry eye in the operating room. <laughs> Well, my area of focus is advanced implants into and around the retina. Um, ophthalmology has always been uh, an area where implants have been readily accepted. After cataract surgery, you get an implant that allows you to see. But implants for the retina are very novel. And so just like the stem cell implant we're developing, before that we developed a purely bioelectronic implant called the Argus. And the Argus implant is for patients who are completely blind from an inherited retinal condition where they lose their photoreceptors. So there's a genetic defect that results in losing their photoreceptors. And so we put this electronic implant. Some people call it the bionic eye. Some people call it artificial retina. But we put it surgically in the eye and it wirelessly communicates to a camera and allows a blind person to be able to see. So people who have been blind completely, can't see anything, are able to then see large objects uh, even large letters and walk about. So we're, we're working on improving the, the resolution of it, but this device now is approved in the US, in Europe, in Canada, all around the world, and we're working towards the next generation to help improve the resolution. Well, Terry uh, is an amazing patient. In fact, he's more than a patient. He's really part of our research team. Uh, when the Argus One was implanted, or was being implanted, he was the first to, to raise his hand and wanting to partake, even though he knew that it might never help him. He's always had this real altruistic outlook of wanting to help others and really helped us understand uh, the Argus I and the development into Argus II. So um, it was always in, in my mind that if we ever developed the next generation device that he would be one of the first to be implanted with this Argus II. And when the time came, well, he wasn't the first because it took a little while to work out having two electronic implants in the same patient. But once we did, he now is really the only patient uh, to have both implants, one in each eye.